Oh, nigga, that I'm on that now. Black mom, bye, bye. <laughs> what is up crackhead nation is the girl princess galaxy and today i had a video idea that i have been thinking about basically this entire year because i got my first dose of my vaccine woohoo my second dose is in like a couple days and also um i've been missing concerts and that's the only reason why i got the vaccine so today i want to talk to you guys about what things I personally think Western artists can learn from K-pop artists, especially when it comes to concerts, because in my opinion, K-pop concerts are 100 times better than artists from like the West. So yeah, that's just my opinion though, don't get mad. So I basically have a list of things I've been thinking about that Western artists should probably like, you know, do at their concerts and i know with covid and everything like it's probably like you know they want to make costs like for concerts like as cheap as possible and things like that because like we haven't had concerts but i just think like these things would be so iconic like would be so iconic for like western artists so i have a list here and i'm gonna get into it but first i want to say that i make tiktoks now follow me on tiktok and instagram one of my reels has been getting a bit of popularity is basically like a TikTok. Here it is. So yeah, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I update my Instagram every single day and I'm always on it. I love TikTok now. I literally get on it for hours and hours because I'm so emotionally addicted to an app. That makes no sense, but here we are. So yeah, all right, let's start. Okay. Here is what I think Western artists should learn from K-pop artists and K-pop concerts. This can be part one of a multiple series. Comment if you want that below. But these are the first ones I thought about. So let's get into it. So the first is light sticks. Light sticks are such an important part of Korean pop culture and like concert culture in general. And it really shows like the it shows the dedication that the fans have to the artist and it shows the artist that like okay like the fans are also involved like in this process because it's literally fan based like that's what a concert is so it's like and it also reflects like the vision like the brand of the group so it's like imagine like a taylor swift light stick with like from reputation era where it's like a snake and it's like every era they can come out with like a new light stick because that's basically like what a lot of k-pop groups do like every two or three years they like update the light stick and also the light stick would be good because companies love money and the light sticks are like 50 60 sometimes more than that dollars so i think it would be perfect for western artists and like i was thinking about this the other day and i'm like oh my god like what would a light stick for like billy eilish look like do you think it'd be like green or like i'm just like always thinking about these like different ideas like would it light up would it like glow in the dark like oh my god and like drake's light stick <laughs> Like, I don't even know why I'm thinking about this, but it's just like, I'm just imagining like the, the OVOL like on a light stick and like the fanboys just like waving the light stick. <laughs> like that would just be so <laughs> Like it just gets me thinking about it. It's just like so ridiculous. All right, second are fan chants. And I kind of realized that like American artists usually have fan chants on their own, like if you're like a fan you're gonna sing along to the song and like especially popular songs fans automatically sing along to those but what if they had like a f like you know in a in korea if you guys don't know in k-pop they usually have fan chants that are created by the company so that the fans basically kind of have like a chant to sing during the song and it usually matches the song a song is so easy and it keeps fans really involved and personally that's my favorite part of k-pop concerts so let's go to the next one the next one is i said it already and it's not directly about concerts but it's multiple versions of an album so if you guys don't know apparently this is also just stay along with me here billboard like ruled out bundles for being a part of like you know ranking higher on the hot 100 so i think uh, for the most part people are kind of gonna like go away with bundles and things like that because it doesn't really help them on the charts anymore i'm thinking like western artists and stuff so 
like what better way to counter that than having like multiple versions of an album because i know in america we have like the target exclusive version and you might come out with like a like the normal cd and then you might have like the deluxe you know for like two additional songs and like they do that with target and stuff but like i said with like taylor like i remember like she came out with four versions of lover and like she really is like learning like her team is kind of like learning from like i, I know k-pop doesn't just do this but i feel like it's a very k-pop specific thing coming out with multiple versions of an album like i feel like that would really like help a lot of like western artists it's just common in k-pop culture and like fans like me like i will i will drop good money on like different versions of an album i mean you look at like bts Look at like Blackpink, they had four versions of the album. You look at BTS, their Love Yourself series was basically like 12 separate albums, you know, and, or like, you know, just a bunch of albums. And I think some, that's something that like Western artists could really learn from is like integrating fans into the experience and having more creative expression, like for like, not just the team of the artists, but for the artists themselves. Like I can see a lot of different artists um, doing this. And the ones I think obviously are Taylor, like I said, I love mentioning her. I think Lady Gaga could really do well with this with her next album, because I feel like um, she's like really creative. And surprisingly, I think Travis Scott, I really would like to see more like of that kind of stuff going on in rap. Cause I just think it'd be so like bizarre and fun, you know? So I'm trying to think like what else, like what other things Western artists could take from K-pop. Personally, I think those are really strong valid points. If you guys have more, please leave me a comment because I reply to basically every comment that isn't like hate and I never get hate comments. So that means I reply to all comments. So <laughs> I would love to hear what you think about it. I will definitely make a part two if you guys have more. And yeah, that's basically it. So if you guys like this, like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more Crackhead K-pop content. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah! Mm -hmm.